I am moving. So before I pack everything up and uh, store it, I am going to go through my tobacco cellar because I have not done that before. I know some people like it, some people hate it, so it is what it is. So I'm gonna go through my tobacco cellar before it goes into my actual cellar. What's up everybody, Eric here from Tea and Tobacco. We are moving, we have bought a house. We're moving about 30 feet that direction. So we bought the house that we're actually living in and we're just moving to a different section of the house. But I will have a slightly smaller office so I am going to pare down as much as possible in my office that I don't need that is just taking up a ton of space so I am going to pack up all my pipe tobacco that is not already in jars and the old uh, McCullen style tin, the same type of tin like uh, Cornell and Deal use as well. Uh, I did pack some of those away, but uh, most everything is going to be in the, 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 you know, the squat big disc type tins and I will show you those and what I did, but uh, I'm gonna be getting rid of this desk. I'm gonna be getting rid of this bookcase that's sitting on the desk. I am basically trying to get rid of as much stuff as possible to have as roomy of an office as possible. Now that I have more storage space elsewhere in the house that I can put stuff and I don't have to have it all in my office like I do now. So that is what I'm going to do. So. I'm going to go through my tobacco cellar for everybody who is interested before it all gets packed away. So first we'll just start off with some of the stuff I have uh, in jars behind me. So here on my shelf, uh, I have removed most of the tins of stuff. Uh, so I just kind of want to run through a few things that I have in here. Most of this is just open tins of stuff. Uh, I have some old uh, Dunhill Mixture 965 that uh, production was actually in 2002. Uh, Briar Works, they already put their stuff in mason jars, which I like. Uh, and then I just have some, you know, P Peterson Irish Oak. Uh, I got some Cornell and Deal Bayou Night, old fashioned bacon. Um, I got some Suge but they unfortunately went off the market super quickly. So this one is the first day of spring. I have all the, uh, the seasons uh, in jars. And then I have some uh, Balkan Sobrani. I have a ton of John Patton's Quadruple Virginia. I cellared this back in 2011, so I've had it for quite a long time. Uh, and then I have, uh, I just would like some of these, like the Esoterica, the uh, 32 ounce mason jars fit right it back inside the bag. So uh, yeah, I have Esoterica Brighton in there. Um, and then I have one of my favorite of all time uh, bulk blends. This is Lancer Slices, FNK Lancer Slices. It's a really, really good blend. Uh, and then I also have, I believe this is uh, Esoterica Scarborough, really good uh, Virginia blend. Uh, and then I have a few, you can see I got some McClellans that I still haven't opened yet. I got some Blackwoods Flake, uh, British Woods, Dark Star, Tudor Castle, Balkan Beauty. Um, I believe I have a thing of Frog Morton, but that's in my, uh, my stowaway that I've already taken care of. And then I just have some stuff like uh, Two Friends, Redwood, GLP, Stonehenge Flake. Um, I got CND Seersucker. And uh, I got some plum pudding and some Mississippi River. And then just uh, over here, down in the bottom, I have a bunch of uh, McBaron HH Virg uh, Vintage Syrian that I picked up back in 2011. Um, so I have no idea how old this Syrian is at this point. It was 
it was pre-2010 production. So uh, I bought a pound of that way back when. Uh, and then I also have a, a jar of um, Esoterica Stonehenge. So good, or Stonehaven, <laughs> Stonehenge. Uh, yeah, so that is kind of the main things that I have down here of any no. Oh, I also have a uh, June 2009 production of GLP Cumberland. Uh, and my favorite suge is Raijin. Um, but of course that went out of, uh, that got discontinued quite a while ago. So uh, let's move over to what I am putting in my actual basement cellar. So I am down here on my floor because it's gonna be easiest to do it this way. So uh, I have a big old tote in front of me. I will back up a little bit more. Um, so this is just part of my stash. Uh, as you can see, I have vacuum packed everything because this is going down into my basement where it can get moist and all that jazz. So this is how I'm going to protect everything from moisture and tins won't rust and all that jazz. So th a lot of this stuff is going to be stored for, you know, it could be years before I get to this stuff. So that is kind of why I have uh, that, well, that is kind of like the main reason why I have vacuum packed all this stuff. So uh, I tried to do it kind of in some sort of logical pairings and whatnot. So like here I have some old Shenandoah, uh, they're packaged together. I got John Cotton's package together. I got Sutliff Crumbles packaged together. I have uh, Dan Tobacco packaged together. And you know, a lot of this is great because I can just come through, slit this open, take out the tin I want, reseal it, and uh, all of it will stay nice. Uh, I love these square tins because they are super easy to pack because you can pack them nice and tight to each other. The round ones just like don't fit. Uh, <laughs> as well, at least in the bags that I got. So here I got some uh, HH Pure Virginia, some Burley Flake, uh, Irish Flake from Peterson, and then fourth gen 1931 Flake. Uh, I have a few things from Cult. I got two things of uh, Balkan Sassini. I got some uh, Balkan Sobrani and a thing of Bengal Slices couple things of War Horse, a couple of Dunhill, Elizabethan, and Standard Mellow Mix, or just Standard Mix, Standard Mix Mellow. On the back it says Standard Mix Mellow. Oh, that's what it says on the front too. Uh, <laughs> some more John Cotton's Smyrna. I'm so mad that this has been discontinued because it's super good. Um, I got all three Three Nuns. Uh, I got some Murray's, again, discontinued. Uh, John Cotton's double pressed stuff. Uh, Suge God series stuff, again, discontinued. Unfortunately, uh, I got Dunhill's version before they went out of uh, business and moved over to Peterson. Nightcap, early morning. Um, and then this is a uh, Rainier Golden Flake tin. Uh, it's kind of a weird shape, but I did, you know, vacuum pack it because it's going in the basement for now. Uh, these two, uh, they're just some Virginia flakes. That's the only reason why they're together, the Solani and uh, the JA, uh, John Asbury. Uh, again, some of these are just because I didn't have any matching things. Presbyterian and some Latakia flake from McConnell. Some more Shenandoah stuff. Uh, Hearth and Home stuff. Uh, here's my Samuel Gaweth and my one uh, Gaweth and Hogarth. Uh, and then I got some Esoterica. I got a bunch more, but I'll be going through that. Uh, I have HH stuff packaged up from McBaron. 
Uh, here I have some Orlick and some Rat Rays and um, Capstan. Uh, and then I have, like I said, over there, my favorite Suge Raijin. I bought 10 tins of this uh, when it was announced that I was going to get discontinued. So there's three of them right there. Uh, again, a little bit more Orlick and some Escudo. Uh, here I got some Savinelli stuff and uh, Brebbia Latakia Flake. And this is when they were still... Uh, using Syrian Latakia. So this one's a still a Syrian one before they switched over to the Cyprian. Um, and some Aaron Moore Flake. Here's my tin of uh, Frog Morton. Such good stuff. I'm so sad about losing um, McClellan. Uh, some Estelle's, some stuff from Russ Orlet. Uh, I got the a couple of the Gurkha types and then I packaged up a bunch of things that were in pouches. So I got some Bull Run, um, what is this, uh, St. Irv's, uh, some Amphora, Mark Twain, some Half and Half, uh, and then I got some Drexel, another Amphora, this one's Virginia, and then uh, John Bull, and the English mixture, true va uh, super value or whatever you want to call it. And just a last little thing in this tin is some germain stuff. So I got a thing of Penzance, uh, medium flake and BK flake. So all of that stuff uh, is going downstairs. And then I have also my kind of treasure chest in my ottoman here. And again, this is like all my esoterica stuff. So I got, um, you know, Penzance and uh, Stonehaven, some more Margate, some, and Soda Bed. I got Dorchester, more Dorchester. Um, I think I have some Dunbar in here, or is it all Dorchester? More Penzance, um, and then I have a pound of C&D Pirate Cake, this is one of my favorites, uh, and then more of the Suge, Raijin, they're all packaged in here. Uh, I got a few more tins of Bulk and Sobrani, uh, more Suge. Uh, and then I just have a few tins of uh, Captain Earl's. Uh, I got a Legends pipe tobacco. Uh, this is a, a McClellan that I still have. Chacom Royal. Uh, I got some GLP's Quiet Nights. This is really, really good stuff if you like Latakia and Flakes. I have some uh, Seattle Evening from Seattle Pipe Club. And uh, then I got another pack of some John Bull and then Villager uh, English Blend. So most of this is all my Esoterica uh, because I actually have quite a lot of it. So um, yeah, I, have, I think I have like four or five bags of Penzance now plus about 10 tins of it. Uh, and then I have some Ashton and some Stanwell Jubilee. I got a uh, gold block in here. And uh, what else do I got in here? I got some Sutliff 1849 and some P uh, Seattle Pipe Club Yukima, Yukima Valley. I th I'm not sure how to say that. Uh, and then I have some Dobies four square plug uh, and I have uh, some fourth generation 1882. Um, and that is mostly it uh, and a thing of GLP six pence in here. So uh, that is kind of like the majority of my uh, seller that I have. I kind of went over some of the, the more popular things that I have. Um, there are plenty more things that I do have, but yeah, in this box is pretty much all my esoterica that uh, is very well prized. This is my, my Penzance that I am not getting rid of because I'm going to smoke it because it is really, really good. 
Um, I do have an open jar of it over there. So I, I, I do work on it. It just takes a while because I got a lot of stuff. So I'm going to be moving, like I said. So backgrounds are going to change. Um, and all of this is going into the basement pretty much. And I'm just going to store a little bit of it in my office because I, one, ran out of uh, vacuum pack stuff. Uh, and two, if it's already open in a jar, I'm kind of working on those anyways. So that is where everything sits right now. So yeah, I'm not sure what the new office is going to look like because I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be moving into the new office for a few months. So I'm not sure what type of backgrounds you are going to be seeing in the coming weeks and months. So that is what we've been doing though. We have been working on packing everything up and moving all of our stuff. And it's been, a, uh, it's been an interesting 2022 to start off. So that is kind of a look at my tobacco cellar as of, where are we? February, 2022, the end of February. So hope you liked it. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you later, guys.